Yes, hi, and welcome back. This is my weekly movie review. This week, I've chosen to do a very good review for the great classic film with Kevin Costner entitled Bull Durham. There actually is no one in the film named Bull Durham. It is the name of the minor league baseball team that plays in Durham, North Carolina. The team is called the Bulls. And Kevin Costner is the catcher, and he is a veteran catcher. He, he has played before um, in the minor leagues up to the big leagues and back to the minor leagues. And he is inspiring. And why does Costner get to do all of the baseball movies? I'm thinking to myself, Field of Dreams, the one where he played the retired Detroit Tigers pitcher that came back to Yankee Stadium and pitched for one last game and did really well. Tin Cup, not baseball, but good. I also think that these are movies that I like to call Sunday night at the bar when nobody's there type films, you know? They're just kind of on. People are mingling, schmoozing, having a good time, drinking. Hey, Miller Lite, okay, yeah. Oh, Kevin Costner. And everybody's just, and it's just kind of there. The movie doesn't really go anywhere. Except Field of Dreams. It definitely goes somewhere. And uh, was a great feature this season um, with the White Sox and Yankees in the great state of Iowa. Back to Kevin Costner. I think it's important, too, because he is that brave veteran catcher in this one. He's not a pitcher. He doesn't own a farm in this one. He is just strictly coming back and giving Tim Robbins, this hot dog of a youngster, a bit of wisdom and leadership. Leadership. Yes. And the groupie who is um, sort of um, poetically tasked each year. She has it in her um, flesh. And this is in the flesh, uh, these sexuals. And her character is drawn to a player, one per season. She tends to get with one per season. And this season, it's Nuke. Nuke is Tim Robbins. Interesting choice. He's flashy. He's got the hardball. Lots of potential. But, but he gets out booze and he gets in a little bit of trouble. And he, he struggles with control. Not velocity, but control. Why does Kevin Costner always get the baseball movies? Now, I think to myself, mm, Susan Sarandon could have been played better by Jennifer Connelly. And because I like to look at her. But that's a flesh thought. And reading this week's Tara portion. But I do think Susan Sarandon did a great job, and it was a great film. And that will conclude this week's weekly movie review. Next week, I will review the one where I believe Jennifer Connelly and some other person and maybe Ethan Hawke go out into the swamps of Miami. <laughs> this one's kind of weird, but I believe it's into the wild, into the wilderness. Could be Mystic River. No, that's Boston. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Have a good week, everybody.